Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what I'm going to show you guys is, fella, he skimmed this and he didn't do that great of a job, but he did the best he could under the circumstances. We are, this wall here should be level. This is about an inch proud. We broke all the stucco, excess stucco around the window off and it was pretty proud. It was out to about right here. Now notice, here's the thing. This wall here, you see this gap? Uh, if you look down, there's a, there's a gap here where this wall's here and then this is proud by a half inch to an inch. I took a hammer and I broke this part out here because it was so far out. The idea is if you're going to leave, it, leave the stucco on and try to fix the texture is to bring your glue or bonding agent, we put a weld creed, just a bonding agent, over far enough where I'm going to skim this a little bit past here, a little bit proud. I got to go past his work in order to feather in so that when I'm done it all blends in well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix this nasty part down here. That's, that one's pretty beat up and I'm just going to pull it out of my bucket here and guys I'm using uh, a premium mix. All that is is just uh, sand and cement. Now this is a little loose on the top. It's been setting now for about an hour because we're doing other things. But let me get this watery stuff off and then I'll get back to making it look a lot easier. And what I'll do now guys is, all right, this this bucket had a ton of water on the top. Almost done with that ton of water. And because I was doing other things, it's set up a little bit. You might say, what kind of cement are you using? Well, I'm using premium. Premium is a mixture of plastic and common. At the material yard, common is in red bags and plastic is usually in orange bags. And two, you might have noticed that I'm using a huge trowel. This is just a trowel I prefer, guys. It's a 20 by 5. I don't recommend anybody use a trowel like this, but it's not really the trowel. It's your skill with what you're doing, guys. If you're going to use a trowel, get a 16 by 5 or 12 by 5 is standard issue if you're union. But 12 by 5, I dropped too much mud because I put a lot on. And I have four inches here, four inches on the other side. And when I hit the wall, it stays on the wall. So basically, boy, we let this mud set. It doesn't matter, guys. If I have soupy mud, I'll make it work. If I have stiff mud, I'll make it work. And right now, we're doing so many other things that this mud has been mixed for about an hour. It's kind of a drag to use, but oh, Kirk can use it. I'm a professional, so I'll take this, this beat up mud and still use it. All right. Generally, you mix your mud, guys. You put it on immediately. This, uh, I'm looking at it thinking, man, that's set a little too long, but nothing I can't handle. So again, what I'm doing here is just doing the bottom. I'm going to put this big trowel away because this mud is a little hard and get a trowel that I could work with a little bit better for this top piece here. Okay. I'm going to round this off. And as soon as I get this I mean, if you got bad mud sometimes guys it's best to pull it up and bad mud just means it's set a while just pull it up pull it up get it on that tape that tape is going to be removed in about 15 minutes anyhow so i'm going to take the rest of this mud put it on here jay's going to put the camera down in a minute and he is going to mix me up some new mud Fresh mud. As I say, this set quite a while, but nothing I can't handle. 
All right, Jay, you want to put that down? What we'll do, folks, I'm going to spread this whole thing out. Then when I'm done, I'll show you how we float it to match this particular texture here, too. Okay, guys, we've spread it all out. And we are where the joint is about, about three quarters thick. And here's what I'm doing. I already uh, floated all this. A green sponge float, a lot of water, guys. See that? A lot of water. Okay, I tap it, spin it, tap it. And you don't want to slam it here because you'll bend this the wrong way. So just tap it in here, guys. Now, the transition, the joint, is what you want to get first. Note this. This is a heavy sand finish with a lot of water. You can tell a lot of water because you can see all the float line patterns. First, let's get our joint. Okay, we'll get that joint. And when it starts to drag, you see it's starting to drag? That means there's too much cement in this float. So we take the cement out into the water bucket. We just get our transition. Once that's done, it's starting to drag. So I'm going to put it in the bucket now. Then you just take it upward because I, I had the mud sitting in those buckets for over an hour. So some of it was stiff, some of it was uh, inconsistent. So I'm pulling it straight up to deal with that issue. Big deal with uh, doing what we're doing is, is knowing your cements, knowing how long you got. And if they give me soupy cement, I know how to work that. If they give me stiff cement, I know how to work that. And sometimes I'll send it back and say, all right, guys, uh, remix it. But we try to avoid that. We just use what we got. And that takes practice. So what I'm doing here is I'm just floating everything out. I'm going to pull that red tape shortly, too. OK, for just the sake of pulling that, I'll go this way. Now I'll take it horizontal. And watch this move, guys. OK. Where that tape is now, I'm going to get all the mud off of this, I'm clearing this mud, getting it all off of this float, tapping it out, spinning it, tapping it out. Then where that tape is, I'm, I got two clean sides here. I'm going to take one clean side, go this way, spin it around, take the other clean side, spin it around, and bullnose it in. Bullnose that guy in. Now, technically, I'm ready to pull that tape. And I'll show you what happens. If we get any holidays around when I pull that tape, I've got a clean float. So what I'll do is pull this guy off. And any holidays, we'll clean it up. This is blue tape, not weldcrete. So take, it, take my float, come around here at the edge, clean it up a little bit. Same on the bottom here. We have to bullnose this out just a hair. You're not going to see it uh, visually, but if you put a two by four, you'll see it. We just bullnose that out because we are going over a finish that was mighty proud. And we just do like so, guys. Here, we pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. And on the side here, I just keep with that. Anyway, guys, you see how it's done. It's a lot of water, a lot of practice. We make it look a bit easier. But that's what we do for a living. Anyway, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. We thank you folks for watching. And as usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.